So x squared integration is equal to the x cubed over 3. So one, one third, that's actually the volume of the code. That would come as a result of for the integration. You don't put it inside. And by the way, if I estimated the volume of the outer curve by itself, and then subtracted the area of the inner curve, I will get the same result. Why? Because the integration of the subtraction is the subtraction of the integration. integration. And this is this actually is just simply substituting each one of these terms. We have actually a way to show you this that hopefully will help you see it a little bit better. It's another mathematical software. <laughs> this is actually uh, will help us see the uh, volume of the integration Shell 
I would like to find the volume generated when that shape is, revo is revolved around the y-axis. I have the shape that looks like y is equal to uh, y is equal to minus 4 over 9 x squared minus 10 x plus 16, which is this parabola, which intersects the x axis at the point 2 and at the point 8, and I'm revolving it around the, which axis is this one? The y axis. We give me actually something that looks like this. Okay? The result is actually something that looks like this. How would I slice, since what I know right now is that I can slice the volume and integrate. How can I slice it? The suggestion here is that we slice it in the form of these Sin cylinders. Okay? Sin cylinders. Assuming that this is this is the element of volume right here. Okay? Looks like what? A sin cylinder. Okay? This is the element of volume. The circumference of that cylinder, okay, if I unwrap it like this, if I unfold it like this, it would look like what? Okay. This was the cylinder. If I unfold it, it would look like a rectangle. Now they mentioned that this rectangle, this is the height, the height I obtained as a distance from this to the intersection with this curve. So if this is x, this would be what? f of s. And the circumference is 2 pi r. 2 pi r. r is the radius of rotation around the y-axis. So the volume of that cylinder is the 2 pi r, the volume of that thing that I'm holding in my hand, is 2 pi r times h times the thickness, which is what? This. Okay? 2 pi r. I got it from where I'm folding. r was the rotation around the y-axis. The whole thing is what? 2 pi r, the circumference of that cylinder. Pi is the f of x. And the width is what? Dx. Again, we'll see it. Hopefully, this will help us see it. From 2 to 8, meaning on the other side, it's going to be from minus 2 to minus 8. But this is. The rotation is taken into account by the fact that I'm using the Okay? Can you guys see these cylinders? Can you guys see these cylinders? Okay. Each one of these cylinders has a height which is dependent on the height of f of x. It has a radius, which is the radius of rotation around the y axis. Okay? Okay? I am taking the element of volume to be each one of these cylinders. 
جبت الحجم بتاعه ازاي؟ جبت الحجم بتاعه بان انا فردت كده فبقى سن سلندر عباره عن الريكتانج ده اللي هو 2 باي ار ماشي دي كانت كده ودي ار وفردتها بقى السيركمفرنس ده 2 باي ار تايمز اتش تايمز دي اكس طب معوض عن كل حاجه من دول يطلع لي التكامل from 2 to 8 to 5 x this is the circumference times the height the height is both this entire thing times the yes sir we need a problem to uh, a numeric problem to to know how to approach the problem لا عايز من الاول بقى عايز اقرا المساله كامله كده عشان اعرف يعني مساله دي كده امال ايه اكس دي ايه اكس دي ده نظري ده ده نظري انا I'm integrating from two to eight, right? I'm integrating from two to eight. Each time I want to find the height. The height is f of x at each one of these points. The height is going to give me going to be given by f of x. I plug x into this formula. It's going to give me the height. The circumference is 2 pi x, and then this is the thickness. Circumference, height, thickness. This is the volume of the thin cylinder. Integrating from 2 to 8, from the beginning of the curve to the end of the curve, is going to give me the volume of the overall cylinder. Can you see it or not? Right. Our friend here is suggesting something that I can get. The area under the curve and multiply it by 2 pi. Mm -hmm. Is this is right or wrong? One conversation. Yes, conversation. Okay. Basically, the suggested answer here is that the area under the curve is what the integration from two to eight. That function times dx. Okay. Good. So that got me this part of the integration. And this got me the 2 pi. Where did I get this x? So you wanted to take the 2 pi out and then do like this. This integration is time dx, right? Where did this x go? 
Mm -hmm. I think the reason uh, we go back to the is that if I have this area and uh, it's in a region uh, degree, so I, uh, if I collect all the two files, then I can get the book. But there's a missing thing. This. Okay. What you are doing right now is adding K. Now on time back, add K. كل واحدة من دول وأدي المساحات it will give you the volume مساحة بتاع الديب زي كل خرطة من الكيك دي حسن المساحة بتاعتها أدي المساحة دي زي المساحة دي زي المساحة دي يطلع الفولي نوري When the strip, when that thin slice is parallel to the axis of rotation, we use the shell method. When the strip is perpendicular to the axis of rotation, we use the washer method. Okay? So when that strip, when that thin slice that we are integrating is parallel to the axis of rotation, the metropinkinal disk can perpendicular to the axis of rotation. That chain is what is parallel to the axis of rotation. In that first case, we use the shell method. In that second case, we use the washer method. Okay? Now, so before we move on to the length of curves, I would like to review that so far we have been slicing to get the volume. Okay? If the shape is obtained by rotation, I have these three cases. If the shape is obtained by rotation, I have three cases. First of all, it's a solid shape. Then I'm doing the disk method. Solid disks. If that is obtained by the intersection of two curves, then this is the washer method. Okay? If I have an entire curve that is rotating around the axis. Okay, this is the what? Shell method. Three methods. Disk, washer, and shell. The difference between the washer and the shell is that if these disks are perpendicular, we call this the what? The washer method. If these disks are parallel, we call this the what? The shell method. In all of these cases, you will find that the integration itself is very easy. We'll be able to integrate very easily. It's just how do you draw it and get pick the element of volume. And this you can do by what? Just reading a lot of examples. Because the shapes will repeat. Mafish infinite number of ways that you can rotate a shape around an axis. Okay? It's either one curve or two curves. One curve, I'm talking about the disk. Two curves, I'm either talking about the washer or the shell. Parallel to the axis is shell, perpendicular is washer. You need a formula, you need a formula with two formulas. I think I have the formula sheet. Okay? <laughs> if I draw a parabola on the ground, Najee, now get a simple parabola here, like that, on the ground, and start walking on top of this parabola, okay, until I came back to the other side. I want to find out the distance that I walked on top of this bar. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next 
the element of reference is ds and is obviously made up of px and dy. ds squared is equal to the whole px squared plus dy squared. Okay? Then the integration for ds is the integration of dx squared plus dy squared. If I do like this, then this is y and this is dy y dx and I'll take the x square outside the square root, then the length is equal to the integration from a to b, 1 plus dy by dx, all square dx. <laughs> now what is this? What was what I was saying that this is the integration from A to B square root of 1 plus dy by dx square d. What does the parabola look like? Y is equal to x squared and dy by dx is equal to 2x then the integration from a to b and I would like to integrate 1 plus 2x squared dx okay then this would actually give me the length, the number of units of distance that I covered walking on top of this parabola. Yes, sir. Is it just for parabola or uh, anything? Give me a curve. So x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. What does this look like? Okay. If I want to know. I have this. Okay. I'm taking the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And I'm going to integrate from minus 1 to 1. I want to find that half. A circumference of that circle. If this is a unit circle, the circumference of that circle is what? <coughs> 2 pi. Then the results for that integration would be equal to pi. Okay? What is the integration? Y equal to 1 minus x squared. First of all, y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared. And y is equal to square root of, what, of 1 minus x squared. dy by dx is equal to? I need, I need dy by dx. So this is y as a function of x. dy by dx is equal to? 1 over 2 minus x squared. 1 over 2 squared. Minus x على الجذر. Minus x على الجذر. Man. Minus x over the square root of one minus x squared. Good. How would I integrate that thing? Minus x squared. 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 Do you agree that this is going to be the integration? We can give the most of the Saha. 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 The integration of the one plus x this is the integration? Yes. 
You will actually find that you need to do a substitution that will do it with substitution so that you can Please drive down these dates. The second and third will be on Sunday, November 27. The third and third will be on Wednesday, December 16. The final of them will be January 6th. Session to Mona starts at 10 p.m. to Hatton. Go over chapter 1 and 2. Okay? Session that we did is the session that we did is the session that we did on Thursday. No one attended. دي سيشن اجين او سيشن دي الناس تقدر وتتفاعل تمام في حل الامتحان حل الامتحان اللي عنده حاجه هيخلص كويس سيشن ستارت 4 اللي عنده حاجه وجوين ات 4 ماشي